Hi guys, sometimes you open your FL Studio project files and it just crashes or you are trying to save your project file and a VSC plugin crashes as well. So this happens for various reasons, but there are ways in which you can fix that. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, using the FL Studio diagnostic tool. I'm going to access it right now so you can just follow my steps. Um, you just go to this PC, Windows, your C drive, program files, x86 and uh, we've done that in previous videos so you should be familiar with these steps now so i'm going to the image line folder here and um, i'm going to my shirt folder and then the start folder here and inside the start folder we have this diagnostic uh, tool so in previous videos we've covered the reset fl studio settings um, run rendering tests and um, i will cover the technical problem in the next video hopefully but today we are going to look at this option fix fl studio song projects so you can see this browse button and i'm supposed to select an fl studio file a project file or flp if you want and link it here and then i'm going to have some options but first i want to explain something to you when your fl studio project file crashes when you open it let's say this is because of a vsc plugin you have no ways of fixing that yourself because then you can't even keep the file open to locate the VSC plugin in the affected mixer track to remove it. So that is when you can use this diagnostic tool to uh, select your file and remove it from here directly. I have now selected um, a file. So I have two options here. The first one says remove the plugin that crashed when file was saved. So that is the first option I mentioned. When you saved your file, a VSC plugin crashed and then you can select this uh, option to have it removed. But this will only work if the plugin crashed when you try to save the file. So for instance here, this file didn't have any issue. If I click select here, it tells me project file was not fixed. Corruption was not found. So I believe this is, um, it's looking at a log file first uh, for this FLP uh, before um, taking action. So I'm sure there is no um, error in uh, the logs for this file. So I'm going to try this again. Now I've selected the file and um, this is for um, the issue. Let's say you have this issue where um, um, plugin crashes when the file is opened. So in this case, you can check this option and it's going to show you all the VSC plugins associated to this file, which means um, you've added these plugins in one way or another inside your mixer. So um, you can see the uh, duplicates here. This is because um, different mixer tracks have these uh, VSTs. So they're going to appear no matter how many times you have them inside your, your FLP. So um, let's say Maximus caused an issue. And I'm selecting Maximus here because there's only one instance of Maximus. So it will be easy for you uh, to see, to understand what I'm going to demonstrate next. So I'm going to select this one and then click on this button again, select. And now it says product file was fixed and saved to and now it's giving me this path here. It has now added recovered to the file name. So it's a different file. I've selected my track one more time, the original track, and I'm going to click this one and click on this button, select all. So now it's going to remove all the VSC plugins. Let's, uh, let's see if this works. So it's done. I can now close the tool. And now I'm going to open the original file one more time. Right, so now this is the new file it just saved. If we open this one, you can see there are no VSC plugins at all. Like they're all gone. Of course, um, I'm not sure you'll be removing all your VSCs at once unless they are all corrupted. But um, I just wanted to demonstrate how you can easily remove VSC plugins without you having to open your file. Um, so that was just some demo that I wanted to show you. And uh, if it helped you, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, uh, turn on your notifications and uh, thumbs up this video, share it and leave your comments. I'll see you next time.